The natural wealth of the Democratic Republic of Congo is vast. More than half of Africa's forests and freshwater resources lie within its borders, providing habitat for unique and diverse wildlife. Yet only 26% of the population has access to safe drinking water, a tragic legacy of over two decades of turmoil. Rapid population growth, displacement, and rural economic collapse have triggered one of the fastest urbanization rates in Africa. Kinshasa, the capital, is the third largest city on the continent with some 10 million inhabitants. Most residents live in crowded, unsanitary settlements. The environmental footprint of this urban chaos is devastating. Kaya River Basin, located southwest of Kinshasa, is a vital source of drinking water for the city. But the severe flooding and soil erosion in the valley are threatening to cut off this critical supply. The flooding and soil erosion, which prompt gullies and landslides, are exacerbated by human activity, mainly slash and burn agriculture, quarrying, and charcoal production. You know, when it rains, the rains that are not more canalized, C'est la forêt qui était pour nous une solution. Maintenant qu'on détruit complètement la forêt, les conséquences, c'est les érosions, ce sont les inondations sauvages et tout ça. To promote sustainable livelihoods and reduce the threat of natural disasters such as floods, UNEP is supporting communities to manage Lukaya as a single river basin. In other words, the entire basin will be managed using a coordinated and participatory approach. This means that over 100 representatives from government, communities, and the private sector will be involved. For us, the principal objective is to put in place a cadre of concertation of all the usages, because we can discuss about all the problems that are generated by our activities. This is Integrated Water Resource Management, an evolving concept that aims to use water resources in a way that balances social and economic needs and protects ecosystems for future generations. And this is the first time it is being implemented in the DRC. La stratégie de l'UNEP, c'est d'une part avoir des activités concrètes sur le terrain et de remonter au niveau ministériel. Et alors concernant la gestion des risques naturels, en travaillant en partenariat avec le ministère de l'Intérieur et des Affaires Sociales, qui sont les leaders de cette problématique ici en RDC. The challenges are compounded by heavy levels of sedimentation, which reduce the river's water quality and increase the cost of treating water. C'est un captage qui a été conçu par rapport aux besoins de la population. Et souvent, on rencontre souvent un problème d'ensablement. Et chaque fois, il faut engager des, des plongeurs pour nettoyer les crépines, qui sont rien que immergées directement dans, dans la rivière. Reforestation within the Lukaya River Basin will help to reduce soil erosion and increase forest cover, improving water quality and diminishing flood risk. Additional agroforestry initiatives will provide much needed forest cover that will help small-scale farmers produce cash crops such as coffee. Vetiver, a grass with deep roots, is also being planted in eroded areas to protect riverbanks in flood-prone zones. The construction of 3D models of the Lukaya Basin by the communities has helped groups identify the areas at risk and decide on land use. We have been very happy to be able to approach this project because it helps to reinforce the capacity of the territory to understand how to manage the environment to help the population to not suffer there are multiple direct benefits of this type of water management. These include improving soil fertility, boosting agricultural yields, and enhancing water quality. In addition, the supply of water from Lukaya will become more reliable. And finally, the risk of flood and erosion will be reduced. The benefits direct we hope for the population of the basin versant of the river Lukaya reside essentiellement sur le fait que si l'on gère durablement les écosystèmes et qu'on tient compte des risques naturels, 
on peut avoir un impact sur le développement durable. Donc en mettant en place des activités de reboisement et d'agroforesterie, on aidera les familles à, de, à, à ne plus avoir à faire face à ces épisodes catastrophiques. The work being carried out in Lukaya by UNEP, the local communities and government is unprecedented in the DRC. If successful, it could be replicated nationwide. Le projet sur la Lukaya, nous allons apprendre comment la gestion intégrée des ressources en eau s'est fait sur les bassins de la Lukaya et voir comment cette expérience peut être extrapolée sur d'autres sous-bassins, pourquoi pas sur d'autres bassins du pays. Ce projet sera vraiment d'un apport capital. Hey, and let's see this one. Let's see this. <laughs>